to the tutorial for professional services automation integration. The following topics are included in this tutorial. An introduction, supported tickets, what the PSA integration does, configuring the PSA tool, modifying or deleting the PSA integration, viewing the ticket information, and a list of additional resources. If you use a Professional Services Automation or PSA tool, this feature pertains to you. The Unitrends PSA feature automates the creation of tickets in the Managed Service Providers or MSP's PSA tools. Currently, ConnectWise is the only PSA tool that Unitrends supports. This is as of version 7.2. Previously, when an issue was found, the information was entered manually into ConnectWise. This process was prone to errors and was also time-consuming. The following tickets are supported. Service tickets, tickets that are used to track issues in the system. Also, billing tickets, tickets that contain billing information for creating invoices. Note that these show up as service tickets in the PSA tool and contain information that's required for billing. The PSA integration feature enables Unitrend software to automatically create a service ticket and automates the retrieval of billing information from the Unitrend system. Once set up, the Unitrend system sends service ticket and billing information from the company sites directly to the MSP's PSA integration tool. Next we'll talk about how to enable the PSA integration tool. It's two steps. The first one is to configure the ConnectWise tool. The second step is to configure the Unitrend system. You can verify the configuration by sending a test ticket from the Unitrend's UI to ConnectWise. Step 1. Configuring settings in ConnectWise. The first thing we'll do is set up the integrator login. This enables the Unitrend system to integrate with the PSA tool. Next, we'll select the APIs to use. At this point, only the Service Ticket API is required in this release, which is 7.2. When enabled, the Unitrend system can create service tickets in ConnectWise. Now let's look at how to do this. First, you need to sign in to ConnectWise. You're going to click Setup and Set Up Tables. And you're going to see the Setup Tables dialog box. Enter Integrator Login in the Table field, and you'll see a second line with the Integrator Login link. Click on that. Now, if you've already set up a user, you see the Integrator List screen as we see it here. So you're going to need to click on New Item and you'll see the integrator login screen. If you haven't entered any users, then you'll go straight to this screen. Enter a username. And a password. Make sure you remember those because you're going to need those later. For access level, click all records. Click the service ticket API. You're going to select the Professional Services Service Board, and you need to enter a valid URL. I'm going to enter connectwise.com. Now you can click the Save button, and your integrator login is set up. One note, prior to using the PSA feature, you may want to confirm the time zone entry is set up correctly. You'll need to contact your ConnectWise administrator or consult the ConnectWise documentation. Step 2. Creating the PSA integration. First we're going to create configuration and authentication information. Then we'll send a test service ticket to ConnectWise. Now let's look at the steps. Next we're going to create the PSA configuration. You're going to click Settings. Clients Networking and Notifications, and the Professional Services Automation option. In the tool list, click on ConnectWise and you see the Add PSA Configuration dialog box. You're going to enter the URL for ConnectWise. You enter the node name only, so you don't enter HTTP or WWW. 
I'm going to enter test connectwise.com. I'm going to enter the company ID. That's Unitrends for me. You can select existing credentials. That is, credentials that you've already set up. For instance, for operators or administrators, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to set up a new credential. I don't want to enter a credential name. That is optional. I'm just going to set this up for myself. I'm going to enter the username that I entered in ConnectWise. And I'm going to enter the password that I also set up in ConnectWise. I need to confirm that. Click Confirm. You go back to the tool list. Click ConnectWise again and now you see the Modify PSA Configuration dialog box with the entries that you made previously. I'm going to click the Send Test Ticket button to send a test ticket to ConnectWise. If your credentials are correct, then you'll see a test ticket number in a message window. And there it is. Make note of that test ticket number. You can use this ticket number to confirm that the system sent the test ticket. You can go to ConnectWise to confirm that the test ticket was sent. Now let's look at modifying or deleting the PSA integration. On the PSA configuration page, you can modify, delete, view, or save configuration and authentication information. It's easy to modify or delete a configuration. You go to Settings, Clients Networking and Notifications, Professional Services Automation. In the tool list, click ConnectWise and you see the Modify PSA Configuration dialog box. So you can change your information here. If you want to change your password, click on the checkbox, enter a new password and confirm the password. You can enter a credential name if you want to. When you're finished, you can click Confirm. If you want to delete this PSA configuration, just click on the Delete button. Now let's look at how to view ticket history. The PSA Reports page displays information about tickets that were created successfully and also tickets that could not be created. To view your ticket history, you'll go back to the tool list page where you see ConnectWise and click on the View Ticket History button at the bottom of the page. You'll see a list of tickets with information such as severity, date, ticket ID, and description. You have the option to sort by column or by multiple columns. With PSA integration, a command line interface allows you to invoke the billing ticket manually and after the day that a monthly bill is created. For more information, please see the PSA integration chapter in the Unitrends Administrator's Guide. This concludes our tutorial. For more information, see the Unitrends Administrator's Guide, additional information on Unitrends.com, including video tutorials, and knowledge base articles. Thank you for watching.